Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna be creating this other awesome app, and this is gonna be a translator app. So, um, in this app, the thing is, and heads up, is that you guys don't have to set the background that I'm setting. This is the background that I set, but you guys could change the color. It doesn't have to be this picture. You could find something in Google or anywhere and you could set that as a background so it's all up to you backgrounds fonts and everything all that designing it's all up to you so um i'm first going to show you guys the preview of this app so we'll go that and i'm only going to do one language um if you know how to do one language you'll basically know how to do other languages and how to add other languages so yeah, you guys could add more languages, but I'm just going to do one language just to show you guys. Pick a language, Spanish, and then I'm just going to type hi, translate. Hola. Check it out. It says hola. So, you will click this button home again, and we'll take this to here. Okay, so first of all, I created a new thinkable design and um we had a screen and then we set the screen a background like i told you the background could be anything you guys want we said black for now then we're gonna add a button in it add a button without any column or row just a normal button in the screen now it'll look like this so scroll down Pick up the radius, we want no radius, make it blank, then the text is just going to be, text is going to be translator app, then the background, here's the thing, the background picture or color has to be the same background or picture we set up for the screen. So, I said black. So it's going to be black. Then the height is going to be fill container. And same with the width. So now you see the um, button is mixed in with the screen. So whenever you click on a screen, it's actually a button that you're clicking on. So we had a new screen and there we're going to add a label. Like that, no columns to add before the label. Then the label is gonna say, pick a language. You can say, pick a language, because in this screen, our user is gonna pick a language. So the thing is, like I told you guys, the font and everything, the color, and the font size doesn't have to be what I did. You could, you guys can make it anything. So also the background for the screen, you can make it your favorite background or something you want it to be. Now we are going to be adding a column. So column, we're going to be adding it under the label. So it has to look like this. It's not going to be, the label is not going to be inside the column, but the column has to be under the label. Now, inside the column, we're going to add a button. So, now this button is going to say your um, language, one of your language. So, like I told you, I'm just doing Spanish, but... You guys could do any language. You guys could add other languages. You could do all of those stuff. But I'm just going to show you guys how to do one language. If you know how to do one language, you will basically know other languages. And do Spanish. Then, um. So, the background color and everything doesn't have to be what I did. But, um, yeah. You guys could put your own background color and your own test color your own text size um but just remember we have to have this button that says the name of the language because if 
our user clicks this button, then it's going to take to the, our next screen, which is going to be the third screen, where we're going to have our real translator app. So now in our third screen, we're going to be adding a column. Then we'll be adding a text input inside that column. So our text input is where the user is going to enter the text they wanted to they want to translate. So that's why this has to be the text input size has to be a little bigger. So we're going to do height is going to be relative size. 20 percent you guys can make it more bigger and the width is going to be relative size 80 percent now we're going to be adding a button that says translate so when the user clicks that button and translate um it's going to translate the text they entered in the text input to the translation language they picked Now, we're going to be adding this label under the button that's going to show up a translated text that the user entered. So it's going to be empty string. Then the font size, like I told you, it could be anything, but I recommend putting it something that's showing up in the screen, like 30 something. And again, the colors and everything, it's all you guys' wish. Now, before we go to our next step, we're going to be going back to our column, column number two, and what we're going to do is our vertical alignment is going to be space around, because we want to just space it around a little bit. Then what we're going to do is we're going to be adding a button. So like I told you guys, we're going to have, um, we're going to have this button. When we click on it, it's going to take us back to our home screen. So, um or I'm doing one language, so I want to go back to home screen. You could make it that go back to um, our pick a language screen or screen number two, or maybe have two buttons. I'm just gonna show you guys clicking the home button and going back to home screen, but it's gonna be the same code. So you guys could add more buttons like you could for the languages. Okay. So the button, I recommend it under the column. So it's going to be kind of nice section. And um, now you could just keep it like this or you could um, make it bigger or smaller. What I'm going to do is I usually like to make it like a button that looks like a half of screen. Like I'll show you guys. So height is going to be fill container. So you see, actually, yeah. Sorry, fill contain contains, and the width is going to be fill container. So there we go. Um, then I don't want the radius. So you guys could still keep the radius, but I don't want the radius. Now the background color. I'm just going to be keeping it black I'm going with the black and white thing then um text it's based on where it's going back to if it's going back to home screen then you have to write home oh, if it's going back to pick a language screen just gonna um write pick a language so yeah now before we go to our coding we're gonna be adding some invisible components so we're gonna be um we're gonna be adding two what is gonna be translator this is the main thing we really want is because this is going to help us translate so in thunkable you can search up um in add components translator it's just going to pop up and it's this one with the y shape then when you click on the translator this thing will pop up and it says source language target language and yandex um api key so their source language is going to be English, um, US, but you guys could put your source language, what you want, Chinese, China, Dutch, something you want. Then the target language, usually the source language is going to be English, but it's all up to you. The target language is based on you, um, like the languages you're adding. So for example, I have 
um, what do you say? Spanish. So then I'm going to, the target language is going to be Spanish. So like that, you're going to, um, do for all the other languages you might add. So if you want to add some more languages, what I would recommend is add screen. So screen three is Spanish and screen four, let's just say Hindi, something like that. Then um, our Yandex API key is just going to be default. Now we're going to add this other one that's going to um, be text to speech. So text to speech, the default language is going to be just English. Then um, the default language is going to be your source language for the translator. So it's just I'm going to just keep it as English. So now coming to our coding for screen one, our coding is going to be when button one is clicked, because when the button we set as the screen is clicked, it's going to go to the next screen, which is going to be our screen number two. So we're going to do navigate to screen number two. Now coming to our screen two, it's going to be, the code is going to be something like our screen one. Like I told you, something same. When button two is clicked, um, then button two is like our language because we're picking our language in the screen. Then navigate to screen three where we're gonna translate the language. So again, multiple languages, multiple when blocks. Like then we're gonna, if you want an other language, let's say Dutch, we're gonna say when button three is clicked, navigate to screen four. Now, in this screen, we're going to be creating a real code. Like, it's going to be a code that's really important, and it's going to help us translate. So, what we're going to do is, when button 3 is clicked, my button 3 is the translate button. Then, call translator once translate. Text to translate is going to be coming from our text input 1. It's going to be text input 1. Text, then do call text to speech speak. Text is going to be result, then set labels choose text to the result because a result is going to be in label two, like a real result is going to be in label two. Now here's the thing, sometimes um, it might not work. What's going to happen is it might says error. So what you guys want to do is move this block up, then move this back down. Then it might work again. Okay, now for my home button code, it's going to be in this screen because my home button is in this screen. Now, when button 4 is clicked, which is my home button, navigate to screen 1 because when the home button is clicked, it's going to go to home back. Okay, guys, it's our fun part. We're going to be testing our written, um, our app. So, we are going to be going to live test, then translate our app. We're going to be click on the screen. So far, so good. Click on this button. Good. Hi again. Hola. We did it! Now let's see our home button. It's working! So that's it guys. I really hope you guys liked it. And if you had some mistakes, it's fine. Just fix those bugs out. And remember to subscribe and the button for more notifications. Bye! Have a nice day!